and we'll make this uh, video really brief. Uh, I just finished reading, uh, what is this? High Performance Habits by Brendan Butchert, the book that I told you guys about yesterday. Actually today, because I forgot to post yesterday's video because consistency is key to being a high performer as well as some other things like confidence, which is how he ends the book. Um, yeah, really, really great. Uh, one of the last things that, that resonated with me was satisfaction. Um, and just, just thinking about my life, like, and I, you know, I'll ask you guys this as well. Mm, what can you celebrate in your life? What can you be proud of? What can you fully accept and enjoy and love about your accomplishments and about your success? Because, um, and, and right now in this very moment, you know, like, do I have the best place? No. Do I have the most money? No. Do I always wear clothes in my videos? No. But are you satisfied when I do wear clothes? I'm not sure. So uh, <laughs> the, the, the real point is, right, like find something in your life um, that, that motivates you, that pulls you toward it. And then along the way, I think the, the key is to, to be satisfied. So much of my early adolescent and early 20s um, naysayer negativity judgment feelings of superiority um, ego protection um, and bitterness and I don't think it's natural <laughs> and you know that that just as you age, you get better at things and being yourself because that is not necessarily the case at all. Um, because I have done a lot of work to move past a lot of those thinking patterns and a lot of that bullshit. And, you know, I do feel that I have a pretty good grasp on my personality right now. And it's just a matter of, um, you know, and, and it's just a matter of, of continuing to grow, not getting, not being complacent, right? That not settling. So being satisfied doesn't mean those things. It just means that you um, just enjoy life, right? There's a there's a quote in here. Uh, it's by Marcus Aurelius. Be satisfied with success, even in the smallest matters, and think that even such a result is no trifle. Dude, at the end of the day, it isn't. Like, wow. And and Andrew Kirby said this too. How many people want your life? Like, you may think you have a sucky life, but how many people want your life? A couple billion people around the world, maybe. So, you know, grass is always greener. And, uh, and the only thing that you control is your emotion and your connection to the present and yourself in you. So, may post another book today. I think I should probably read Dialogues or Medita Meditations by Marcus Aurelius. Yeah. Um, turns out a couple thousand years ago when nobody had anything else to do but read and write and sit and talk and think and plan and, you know, work on themselves and become better people instead of making YouTube videos that all you view are watching and clicking on and subscribing right now. Thank you so much. I love all of you. Um, yeah. That it's easier to become a better person, but it's also easier to be a better person when we work together and when we help each other. So how can I help you grow? And how can you help me grow? Thank you. Have a beautiful day. Aloha.